Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Chemistry is very important to women. Chemistry is very important. What I mean by chemistry, it means they literally feel something for you. Like that was one of the earliest lessons I learned from women as far as the men that they're attracted to. They gotta feel a chemistry and they'll say, you know, They'll meet some guy and he'll have everything going for them. Everything, you know, the guy, you know, even what people nowadays think a man needs to do to be handsome by everybody you see it, tall, you know, over the six feet threshold, muscular, so he got body game. Oh, and he got that other SM, uh, SMV and everything. You know, he'll have the money. He'll have some status, people will know who he is. And yet a woman will meet him and not want to deal with him. Why? She don't feel anything for him. And if she does deal with him, it's only because of the surface qualities. Indeed, in my book, Nice Guys and Players, those are the masked men. And they do get some attention and they do get some play until women get past that mask. And then women have to admit, you know what? They don't feel anything for him. The chemistry is very important for women. They got to feel that man. They got to feel him. That's why I said, you know, we can, you can have all this stuff, you can have all the bait, but it, you still have to connect with that woman emotionally. She has to feel something. She has to feel something. Indeed, when a woman still deal with that man who got all that stuff and she doesn't feel anything, in many cases, she's a legitimate gold digger. She's looking for that status. And they always make the my bad joke, but a woman like that will cheat with a guy who's less. I remember in, you know what, I've talked recently about, uh, you know, the type of men that beautiful women will really get with. Um, I know this young lady, real beautiful, like legitimately beautiful. Uh, and this was, this was a while ago. And she was with this guy who, had, who checked everything. He had money, you know, women thought he looked good. She thought he looked good and stuff. She ended up breaking up with him, get with a guy who didn't have as much money, wasn't in the same physical shape and stuff. In fact, he had extra weight on him, but she, she felt him. She felt him. See, I'm going to tell you something, a big deal in when we're talking about relationships. People keep forgetting. It seems like people forget women have personalities. Like you get some guys say, oh, personality ain't important. Yes, it is. Um, that's the key to your personality is a software to your body. I don't care what you look like or how much money you got, you still got to get along with someone. I don't care. I don't care. It's not going, and only time it might be a situation where it's a quick hookup if both parties are drunk, they have some part, some club or something, and it's just pure lust. But let's be real, how many people are going to get that? You still got to have the personality part and stuff. You still got to get along and see some guys don't understand that, but you know what? I question their personalities. You still got to talk to them, you know, indeed. That's why many women, they'll get with a guy and end up with a guy. But if you ask them, they'll say they weren't feeling anything for him at first. He wasn't as handsome as they would prefer. He might not have had that money or that status and everything, but they're in a position to get to know him. And then what happens is that's the best dude in the world. Indeed, if they, once they get to know him, they feeling him, he'll start looking better to him. That's how deep that chemistry is. But see, a lot of guys don't get that. They don't understand that about women. Really for men too. Really for men too, at least astute men. See, some men just want, they want that Barbie doll. They want that trophy and everything. And but. After a while, they find out, you know what? This woman ain't right. Like an astute man, he's looking at the woman's head too because he got to feel something. Like the main thing she needs to bring is cooperation. Main thing, and I'll get into, maybe I'll do another video talking about getting more into that, definitely. But as far as the women, they got to feel the guy. And that's one of the, that's the key thing. That's the key thing. And let me say, because some people will come on there and say, yeah, it's that mouthpiece. It can help get you there. But what if you're saying something that she don't like? What if, she, what if you say the wrong thing? Many men blow it on that. You know, many women will say he was all right till he opened his mouth. See, it's got to be a combination of 
clicking. It's got to be a combination. Definitely, she needs to feel, feel a physical attraction or really at least develop one. But it comes down to do the personalities click because women, they want connection. That's the main thing they want. That's the main thing they look for with a man. Can they connect with the man? You know, can they talk with them? Can they be comfortable with them? Do they literally feel good? Do they, and I've talked with, so over the decades, I've talked with women on it, and they, 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 I'll say, well, why are you with him? He's this, he's that, he ain't that good a man. Or, you know what, he ain't as handsome as the guys I see you usually with. They just, they just say, we clicked. We clicked. Old school players know that term. You clicked. And that's important. In fact, when you look at relationships, and I've talked about this before, and I mentioned something I got from a book I've uh, talked about several times, In Search of Good Pussy by Don Spears. This was written back in the day. This was a legitimate womanizer. This was a legitimate, in fact, he was offered a chance to become a gigolo. And I've seen some women seeing his pictures. I showed this book to some women. They say, oh yeah, he fine. You know, here was the thing with it. He said in his book, and I even did videos on this. Uh, I mentioned it several times. He said two mentors told him relationships fail because of incompatibility and unrealistic ex expectations. Incompatibility, you know, well, the unrealistic expectations is the thought that something will work out when it really wouldn't. Incompatibility is just simple. They don't get along. You know, because a lot of guys are focused on the bait. Even when I talk body game, OK, that's bait. But I've always said body game is the base. That's the bait that gets them over there. You still got to talk with them. You still got to click with them and everything. Because y'all still, what, what are y'all going to do? OK, y'all get together. OK, you, you know, she think you fine, all that. All right. Y'all still going to have to go out. Y'all still got to talk. Even after sex, what y'all going to do? Just get up and go? And if you're talking about a relationship, especially, you got to hang out with this person. You got to be able to laugh with this person. Now, some guys, you get a lot of guys, oh, they just want to hit the skins and, uh, you know, pump and dump and all that. OK, fine. Women, uh, women, even when they want just sex, they want to feel some type of connection, even if it's just sex. They want to feel like, hey, I can talk to this dude. I can do all of this. You know, unless they're extremely masculine in their orientation, even they, they, they want to feel something. That's why, that's why a lot of guys will lose out. They don't feel the chemistry. And when I say chemistry, it's literally, literally uh, chemistry, literally hormones, literally, literally their oxytocin, literally uh, their uh, reproductive hormones and everything. They feel something. They literally feel something. You know, indeed, I've talked with many women why they didn't deal with a man or stop dealing with a man. And it's always the same thing. They didn't feel that spark. That's that chemistry. They got to feel it here. They got to feel something. That's just the nature of women. A lot of guys got to understand that, you know? And like I said, you get some women, they'll try to get past it. And you know, they'll go for that masked man. They'll go for that guy who got all those other things. But then as soon as they get past all of that, they don't like what they see under the mask. They don't like it. Cause they, they gonna get to know him. And all of a sudden it's like, well, yeah, he got that money and all of that. You know, one of my favorites was when I was dealing with a woman, it was a totally friends with benefits type of thing. And you know, she was open to deal with other men and she said, this guy had all this stuff. She had all, he had more money than me. She even said he looked better than you, right? She, she, was, she was straight up. She ain't, because we were straight up like that. We were hard like that with each other. We were just straight up. She said he looked better. He looked better, he had more money, but she didn't feel anything. I ain't spend zero pennies on her. I ain't never be out in public with her. But she felt chemistry with me. That chemistry thing is important. And see, for men listening, I don't care. A lot of guys are so caught up in what they look like or whether or not they got money, how tall they are. It still come down to your personality. All that other stuff is bait. And that's why you get some guys who might not have that physicality or those looks or that money or that status, but they got women. They, always can, they can always generate chemistry with that woman. Boom. And 
that's it. And I'm going to tell you what, like I said, some people say it's the mouthpiece. Hey, that can come in there, but it's really just click personality. Like, I'm a, uh, here's a way of looking at it. Here's a simple way of looking at it. Can you just be around it, it? Will this woman just like to be around you and just talk and she's free and everything? That's how you know. Like, and you can also talk with her. Like, it's just like, y'all can just sit and click. And just like, there's no dead space when y'all like out having a conversation. You know, it's just flow. It's just like, boom, ain't nothing like it. In fact, men should look like, look for that, really. Men should look with it. See, I'm funny, if I'm with around a woman and there's dead spaces when we're around or talking or we just can't flow freely, I'm like, this ain't worth it. I don't care how fine she is. But women are definitely like that. That's the key. That's the key. Boom, everything else is bait. Everything else is bait. So anyway, that's all I have for today. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.